give you an idea of how wet those rocks are and how much rain we've been battled with. These are the gloves I've been wearing to climbing. So I'm going to take them off and wring them out. Hi everyone, my name's Craig, welcome back to Explorer Life. So the other day I said that most of my videos would be from in my room because we weren't allowed out but I was wrong and it turns out we're allowed to the countryside for exercise so today we're on the way to Jack's Rake which is a mountain in the Lake District. It's a grade one scramble um, and it's meant to be one of the hardest grade one scrambles in the country. I'm with Jack, he's driving today. Um, and it's like half nine, so we should get there about ten. We've just got to Pavey Arc Mountain, which is the mountain that has the Jack Rake scramble on. Um, it's over on that side of the mountain. So I don't know if we have to climb over that hill or if there's a path through, but there should be a lake over on that side somewhere and the scramble. And the scramble is on the other side of it. Look at that view, I don't really know how well you can tell, but it's an absolutely amazing view. I don't know what mountain that is, I don't know what mountain either of them are, but it looks amazing. And this river here, just up there behind me, up there, that river runs all the way down, and it powers 90 homes per year, because it has a hydro dam at the bottom, which is quite cool. If they had them everywhere in the country, at every river, then you'd probably be able to, to power quite a lot of homes uh, and not have to rely on coal or um, natural gas or anything that leads to global warming. This river only looks small, but it's amazing how powerful and loud it is. Like, I don't know if you can actually hear me that well because the noise the river's making is so loud. I just tried to make a video then and it was so loud that we probably won't even use it. So we've messed up a little bit. The path's over there. So we need to get over that ridge, but in between us and the ridge is all this boggy land i'm not sure how well you can see it i'll try and get a bit closer so we have to get through all this boggy land uh, across a small small river uh, which isn't that powerful up here but we've had a massive stinker uh, and i we're going to be so muddy uh, for when we get back to the car so luckily it's his car not mine so i'm not too bothered I mean, he doesn't seem that happy, but I think it's quite funny, so. <laughs> so, we've got to the top of the mountain. Well, not the actual... Uh, Jack Rake Mountain. We got to the top of the mountain before the lake and Jack Rake is on the other side of the lake and you can't see it because it's so foggy. Um, so we know it's that way but we don't know where the belt is. We don't know where the climb is and we're on 
a little bit of a bridge. Cut it, start down there, you come up here, or come up there, and um, the river, river flows down there through a little gate, and then at the over the over the wall, which is pretty much a dam, really, um, is the lake. So it's not that deep to start with, where you could walk there. It's like about ankle deep, ankle deep, but obviously on the other side, like in the middle, it's quite deep. Um, looks like there's a little island over there. Don't quite know what it is, but yeah, we're we're gonna have to walk around this river now to get to Jack Creek. It's so foggy. Uh, the rocks are a bit moist, so I've I've slept a few times. So probably not the best conditions to to do this climbing, as it's the most or it's one of the most dangerous uh, grade one scrambles in the UK. But. Uh, we're gonna take our time and be careful and hopefully oh, I was hoping to get some drone shots of us climbing uh, and some drone shots of the lake but it's too foggy so that's not gonna happen uh, I'll try and get as much video of us climbing as I can probably gonna do it off my phone from now though uh, I don't really want to climb with the camera out so don't want to break it and um, so yeah from now on it'll probably be phone I want to just give a quick shout out to my mates over at ST Cloven. They gave me this top to wear today. Uh, they make high quality streetwear and active wear. So if you want to go check them out, if you like this top, I'll leave a link in the description below to their Instagram page. Go check them out. So we've been here for like about five minutes now. Because uh, as you just seen, I recorded the uh, shout out to my mates. And it's absolutely cleared up the whole mountain now. So, the climb is over there, I think. It's probably that path just there. I, I assume so. I've never been here though, so but I assume it's that. We actually, we think we might be wrong about where it is. So I thought it was that ridge that ridge there but it turns out it might be that over there um, that seems a lot more like a grade one scramble it doesn't seem as vertical it doesn't seem as hard um, and from what I read it's not a climb straight up to the top so we think it might be that one we're gonna go for that probably so we're still at the base and we're like 600 meters up and look, look I'm gonna rad actually plastic there's plastic up on the mountain. It's kindling, so someone's had a fire up here and couldn't be bothered to take the plastic with, with them. So I'm going to put it in my bag and find a bin later on because it definitely shouldn't be leaving rubbish out here and um, polluting the mountains. We're about to get to the bottom of the scramble now. Um, we probably walked up the worst possible way ever instead of going around the base of the water like from over there to over here we decided to walk up all the uh, rocks and walk along the rocks which made our life harder um, before we even got to the scramble but we're nearly there now so we're kind of just going to carry on the way we came um, but take a moment to look at this view like the, the lake's amazing absolutely amazing and then you've got that mountain over there, I don't know what mountain there is, but you've got it. Um, and then obviously this lake's like dammed off. And then just over there, you've got a little island, I don't know how big it is, but it looks like a little boat. <laughs> you can see that, we're at the bottom of it now, uh, and you can quite clearly see that. It's, it's not that steep, um, but it is, it does look like quite a challenging climb for a grade one. And it started to rain a little bit, so... It's going to be quite slippy, so we're going to have to watch out for that and make sure we uh, we don't fall or slip, obviously. Just look at that. The two sides of the rock faces going up look quite intimidating uh, as it gets steeper. And another quick thing is whilst we're climbing, we keep finding sheep bones along the way. They're all over. So obviously a few sheep have... Um, died yeah there's wool everywhere uh, I don't know I mean they probably fell to be honest with you 
from up there. It's absolutely lashing down now. I don't know if you can tell, but my coat's getting quite soaked. So, um, and all this ground is proper loose. So, I'm gonna have to leave a, a gap between us. Find a little like mini cave, which is quite cool if you're stuck on here because of the weather or something. You could just chill in there. So we've just we just climbed um Jack's rake and uh we've done all the hard part now. We we beat the um the slippy rocks and the challenge and found a new way up and now we're nearly at the top and we've got to a path the path takes you the rest of the way. Jack's trying to stroke sheep again for some reason. Uh but they're they're never gonna let him stroke them so I'm just gonna keep running away. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna take the path down because we don't really want to be climbing down slippy rocks, um, especially after the struggle we had climbing up here. But it's definitely not a good idea to, to climb down them. So we're gonna go to the top, um, have our lunch up there, and then head back down because uh, we're quite cold and wet. But uh, look at this view of the, the hills in front, the clouds coming over. To give you an idea of how wet those rocks are and how much rain we've been battled with, these are the gloves I've been wearing to climbing. So I'm going to take them off and wring them out. <laughs> it's filthy, the water's brown, it's absolutely soaking and disgusting and my hands are, are red, they're freezing. So that just gives you an idea of how hard it must have been getting up from how wet it was uh, but you don't have an idea of how satisfying it was to actually finally get up get past it and beat it um, so we're just gonna take that achievement as probably our best climbing achievement um, it is definitely harder than a grade one even though it is rated a grade one um, but when you do do it you feel so proud you feel so good <laughs> We've got it to the top and we found out we're not the only people up here. Like these didn't climb, they didn't climb the uh, Jack's Rake like we did. They must have went up the path because we didn't see them, obviously. Um, and we were on there for quite a while. But at least, at least we know we're not the only idiots out here in this weather. So I'm having my dinner and I'm currently having cold pasta which is you know cold pasta you can't complain with cold pasta obviously best river top and me hair is an absolute mess of death I definitely should have got a cut We finally just got back to the car, uh, it's about quarter past five and 
it's pitch black outside so now we've got to drive down well jack has to drive down country lanes in the pitch black which is never good i it's the worst thing ever country lanes are bad enough during the day um never mind the night so uh, i'll see you when we get back so finally home and i just want to say if you enjoyed the video please subscribe um leave a like if you liked it dislike it if you didn't but comment what you liked or didn't like about it um and also there's one last thing i need to do i need to throw this rubbish in the bin from the random rubbish that was left so with that remember to keep exploring